This is the archaeological museum in the capital of Cyprus, Nicosia. Every town has its own archaeological museums. Yes, museums. In Limassol there are two. Larnaca also has two. And there are four in Paphos. And that's not counting the private and specialist museums and the archaeological sites in every district. In reality, the whole of Cyprus is one big archaeological site, even if everything does look brand new. Building contractors, the public works department, villagers and farmers are constantly coming across ancient tombs. Cyprus lends its name to the Latin name for the mineral copper, cuprum. And for 4,500 years, the island was the biggest producer and exporter of copper in the whole of the Mediterranean. One main reason why the ancient Cypriots didn't mine every bit of it, but left a little for us, is that they had no means with which to remove water from the galleries but they had located every single seam of copper in Cyprus. In modern day Cyprus, antiquity is still present and alive everywhere. And traditions such as pottery making carry on until today. The creation of mosaics, such as these from the Roman era, which are beautifully preserved in Paphos, still goes on. Seventeen centuries of Byzantine art are far more than being mere examples of a dated art form abandoned in museums. They are a vital part of daily life in 21st century Cyprus. Ten churches and a further three archaeological sites are listed by UNESCO as protected monuments and World Heritage Sites. The Venetian walls of Nicosia were built in the 16th century in the place of earlier medieval fortifications. Limassol Castle is where Richard the Lionheart married Princess Berengaria of Navarre and where she was crowned Queen of England. It was also used as a prison by King Frederick II of Germany and as winter quarters by King Louis IX of France. But even more famous is Colossi Castle. This is where the Knights of St. John produced a very sweet strong wine from the surrounding vineyards, which they exported to Europe. Comandaria, once described as the Apostle of Wines by King Philip Auguste of France. Comandaria has officially been recognized as the oldest named wine in the world and is still exported today as well as many other Cypriot wines, red, rosé, white, dry, medium, and sweet. For 10 days in early September, you can come to the wine festival in Limassol and drink all the wine you like. that, you can try your hand, or rather your feet, at the traditional wine press. But this is not the only reason why so many people come to Cyprus in September, or indeed in any other month. 
Cyprus is an ideal place for holding conferences of all kinds. Every hotel, large or small, has its fully equipped conference hall, while in the capital there is a large modern conference center. Telecommunications in Cyprus are among the best developed in Europe and are certainly as good as those anywhere else in the world. Incredible, but true. You can see Cairo, Alexandria, the pyramids, the Sphinx, and all the fascinating places in the Holy Land where Christ lived until his crucifixion and resurrection by taking an unbelievably low-priced cruise for two or three days to one of Cyprus's neighboring countries. Don't miss the opportunity. Well, we haven't had a chance to tell you anything about the island's two top-class marinas, soon to be three, or about the many football grounds that are used by professional teams from other countries for training when weather conditions elsewhere are poor. Or about the fact that every year the now famous Cyprus Rally is held here. Or that we have golf courses. Countless night sports and clubs with no safety problems for anyone. Shopping opportunities are fantastic. One famous customer of these hand-embroidered pieces of lace from Lefkara village was a certain Mr. Leonardo da Vinci. Don't forget the summer performances of the ancient Greek drama which have been staged here for the last two and a half thousand years. Take part in the annual Limas with Carnival and in numerous other local and international events throughout the year. Have fun and... Yes, sir.